guys welcome back to my channel and I was actually supposed to be posting this video on Monday but I wasn't feeling very well so I am excited to be back and I am excited to be sharing this video because it was my very first collab with a couple of other mamas here on YouTube some of my favorites it was actually started by Jerry of Boy Boss Mama and uh, Michelle of A Common Life and if you haven't been to their channels yet you should probably check them out because they are awesome homeschooling mamas first question is how many boys do you have two and how far apart in age are they there are 23 months apart um my oldest is eight and my youngest boy is six do they get along yes they do they have regular um disagreements and arguments like every other sibling does but they have trouble living without one another so <laughs> when one is not invited along with the other there's a problem so i would say that that's grounds for saying that they do definitely get along um what makes having boys so special? I think that, I think boys are really special because you're their girl. Like, <laughs> you're their mama, you're their girl. They're like rough and tumble, they get dirty, they're loud, but when it comes to you, they are just softer. Um, they like to cuddle with me. Um, they're concerned about how I'm feeling. Um, they check on me if I don't feel well. They just, have that soft spot for you and that's really sweet and special what is the one thing you think a boy mama can't do without okay so I thought about this question and I honestly couldn't think of much I couldn't think of anything but I for someone else necessarily but for me some headphones <laughs> some earphones like they make a lot of noise. They're really loud and rambunctious and I want to give them the freedom to be that way but we live in a smaller house and the sound travels and when you've been with them all day and all night it can be a bit much. So the thing that I found that helps me the most is having earphones so that I can listen to music, so that I can listen to audiobooks and kind of drown the sound out instead of constantly being like, be quiet, be quiet, <laughs> like all day long. What's wrong? So this is my girl. She's crashing my boy mama tag. It's okay. What the album? Let me try that again. Yeah, so what's the one thing you can't do without as a boy mama? And that would be headphones so that I can drown out the sound because they're so loud. <laughs> so um, what is your bedtime routine like? Okay, bedtime. I would like to be able to say that it's all tranquil and first we brush teeth and okay, let me think about what it's really like. I don't really handle bedtime because by the time bedtime comes around, like mommy is done, okay? I move on to doing other things that I need to do like emails, answering comments, um, working on designs, and some other stuff that I do. So most of the time Brian handles bedtime. Basically after they're finished with dinner, they do some cleanup and some chores. They jump in the showers. Um, he gets them dressed for bed. And then they do any cleaning up in their room. And then um, he does Bible time with them. And then they head off to their separate rooms to go to sleep. My kids, uh, their bedtime is 7.30, 8 o'clock. And I'm very serious about that time. <laughs> but um, lately, because it's the winter time and the kids haven't been out as much as we normally would, um, they have been staying up in their rooms um, after they go to down for bedtime and chit-chatting like all night long till 12 o'clock in the morning talking about a lot of random things like superheroes and you know dreams and whatever else so that's what they normally do and then I end up having to come in there about three times or so telling them to be quiet so that we can all go to sleep and that's basically bedtime Oh, and then we also put on oils for them. That's like a big deal. So I try to put on oils every night to help them just kind of like unwind and relax. How do people react when you're out in public? I think when they were younger, people would, you know, kind of look and, you know, wow, you have your hands full. I was at the store. I was in the mall the other day with them. 
and a guy asked me, are they all mine? But it's just three. Like, what is wrong with people and having kids these days? Like, it's three kids. I could see if I had eight, maybe, you'd be like, oh, wow. But I don't know. People are interesting. Anyway, so I don't really get too many reactions. But then again, I don't really pay attention to um, other people when we're out. I'm too busy making sure they're not running into anything. So, yeah. Describe your boys in one word. If I had to say describe them in one word collectively, loud. Like, they're obsessively loud. <laughs> like, loud for no reason loud. Like, yeah, they're just loud. And they're very creative. And they're thoughtful. But you said one word, so I'm just gonna go with loud, okay. What is their current obsession slash collection? Lego. <laughs> Lego, Lego, and Lego. Um, I would say Lego, and then, um, oh, action figures, superheroes. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. that's their current obsession. Are your boys loud and wild, quiet and calm, or somewhere in the middle? Okay, so I did say that my boys are loud and wild, and they are, but they're also very calm a lot of the times. So I think it's just that they're loud and wild at times where you really don't want them to be loud and wild. So, um, but they're not loud and wild all day. Uh, they have, I would say that they're more calm and quiet than they are loud and wild. It's just that the loud and wild normally comes like at the end of the day when mommy's like, done you know because <laughs> mommy's done a lot anyway what is the hardest part about homeschooling boys they don't sit still like <laughs> they don't sit still like when you really really need them to sit still they're like not sitting still and i would say that that mostly goes for my youngest boy he's very much so uh i'm going to just you know flip on my head while you read to me or I'm gonna do my math while I am upside down. You know, he's that kind of kid. Um, my oldest is, he sits still a lot more, uh, but I would say the hardest part for him is that he just gets, he's very focused and one track minded, so it's hard for me to switch him over to something else. Um, so I'm dealing with that right now and trying to figure out how to deal with it the best way, but that's the hardest part um, with him. What's the easiest part about homeschooling boys? Um, I'm a very like actively creative learner and so I think that lends itself to homeschooling loud and wild boys. So I am not a sit still and write and sit still and read type of person myself. So I think that is a pro for me in homeschooling my boys because I don't want to sit still. And so the more I've become more of myself in homeschooling, the easier it's become homeschooling the boys. Because in the beginning, I tried to get them to sit still for things, but that wasn't even the way I wanted to do things. So it was harder. Um, but as I became more of myself, it was easier for me to homeschool my boys because they're a lot like me. What are some of your favorite books for boys? So they're very into like, Hulk and action hero type books. My mom actually got these really cute um, custom Marvel superhero books. So like the kids' names and addresses and their best friends are, um, are customized into this book. So they thoroughly enjoy reading these books. The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, um, The Chronicles of Narnia, um, Peter Pan, that type of thing. They're really into those types of books. Um, when they were younger, they really, really liked the Frog and Toad, Frog and Toad books, like the Frog and Toad Together and Frog and Toad Are Friends. So they really enjoyed reading those. They're really into their um, their action bible. What is something special that you do with your boys? One special thing I do with my youngest boy is that every now and then I'll just come and sneak into his bed. And when he wakes up and he sees me there, he gets really, really excited. My older son, he normally is filming with me or helping me film, but he likes when I film with him. So I do that now. Um, so that's, I don't know, that's, that's all I can think of right now. 
Do you have any advice for boy mamas? Well, I just try to be a fan of whatever they're a fan of right now. And I think that's really helpful in me relating with them. I just wanted to say thank you to Jerry of Boy Boss Mama and Michelle of A Common Life for including me in this tag or this collab and the other ladies that were a part of this collab as well. And I am pretty sure that they're inviting other mamas who would like to join in on this collab. So I will see you guys in our next video. You can visit our blog at serenabblog.com backslash homeschool, our Instagram at serenab, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!